Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I've been rigging this character. Uh, then I have an issue right here. Uh, I'll find a workaround. Uh, and I want to share with you guys because maybe some of you have the same issue. Okay, we are putting uh, bonds for this character, but I see that this is a little hand detail right here. And then this need to move. So we need to create some biped extra bonds to control these hands. Uh, same for this one. Okay, get the bonds to control this little hand. But what happened when you create uh, an extra bond uh, with biped? For example, if you create an extra bond and you uh, link it to the forearms, you will have this issue. The rotation was wrong. Okay. If you rotate uh, right, it's going left. If you rotate left, it's going right. This is an issue with some bones. Uh, for example, if you do for the calf, uh, you will have this issue. If you go for the forearm, you will have this issue. So let's see how to work around this uh, to make the, the work. Okay, let's delete it. So the first step is uh, create an extra, but link this extra to the to the spine to the last spine of the biped in this case the spine spine 2 as you see uh, now the extra bone is working fine so now take this extra bone and now turn this option off and make it the, the extra bone uh, part of the jerky of the forearms right here with this button is now part of the forearms. Now you can move uh, by hand. The bones right here. Okay, suppose I want it like, like that. Now uh, this extra bone is in the right position and it's part of the forearm. You see it? You can just uh, create some extra bones for the fingers, uh, they will be with the right rotation. So I think this is a book, but with this work around, we can get the work done. Uh, still, out of, out of this, uh, fix this. I already logged this to with Autodesk guys. I I hope the fix came soon, like other fix that that they did. Um, okay, this is all, guys. Uh, hope you. You get the idea of how to fix this issue and get the work done and see you in the next one.